Hello everybody, this is Eric at RC Monster Garage. What we got here today is a um, science experiment. Yes, this is the Arma Limitless and it is completely empty. And what I decided to do is to do a build and show everybody what we're going to put inside and all the problem that are uh, happening when you try to experiment with this. Um, you can of course see online people going 120, 130, 140, 50, 60, whatever. You need to understand how to go fast, what you need to do to go fast, and there is not really a formula that you will say, okay, let's take this motor with this gear and for sure we're gonna go fast. So what I want to do is take a brand new vehicle and put inside stuff that I have around the shop to make it fast. So usually we will use expensive motors, we're gonna use Poseidon, or we're gonna use the TP motors or whatever else, like Castle Creation, any other big brand, people using Leopard. And I'm trying to see stuff that will fit here. And then I run out to so many problem, and I say, let's make a video. Okay, so let's start. Let's put the car aside for a second. I want to start going over first in first. So the first problem that I found, I decided that I want to go with this motor. And again, I'm not recommending right now anything. I'm showing you what I'm doing experiment with. Uh, a lot of you try to do certain things that I said in the past and complain that it did not work. This is the hobby. Learn your way. Do it whatever works for you. So. I have this huge motor from Dynamite. This motor is uh, 750 kV. The problem that I'm running right now was first the gear. So I call my uh, friend Darren and I told him, Darren, I'm a shop, I'm missing a gear. Do you have a gear that I can borrow? And Darren, of course, say, yes, Eric, I will be there and bring me a gear. So Darren came and bring me this big gear. Um, this big gear right now is um, 36 tooth, okay? And I said to myself, okay, 36 tooth will fit because the one that come with the kit is actually too small for the size of the motor that I'm going to use. This fit for a 6S, this is an 8S motor. So, and it's a big KV, so a KV obviously supposed to give me more power more power can turn a bigger wheel. Bigger wheel will turn the car faster on a lower RPM because I can run almost one to one. So this is one thing. Now those gears are close to impossible to get. Uh, you can find them online. Nobody have them. They said that they do, but they don't. Then I got another one. Uh, this is also from Darren. He gave me two of them to experiment with. Then I run out to another problem, and this is a problem that you, you should watch the video all the way to the end because you will have the same problem. Like, subscribe, and share. Now, the motor mount that came with those cars, this is the motor mount. And I say, okay, actually, this is the motor mount. This is the other motor mount that they have. So this is a 50 series motor mount that they made, and this is like the regular motor mount. The 50 series motor mount, it look a little bit bigger? Absolutely not. It's a little bit wider, but the holes are at the same spot. I don't understand even why they did something like that. And the problem that this is causing, when you put it on top, the lines on the motor and the line in the mount will not work no matter what. So what I'm gonna need to do is go and mark those and re-drill one of the holes to fit it for this big motor. Now, why do I want to use this big motor and not go with something that might fit? All the other fifth scale motor for this vehicle, you will need to do that. You will need to flip your motor mount and the motor is supposed to be here. With this specific motor, this motor will fit right there perfectly. So when the motor can fit perfectly here and I can use a big gear and I will have the car heavy on the nose and it will sink down and it's give me the weight that I need, this could be just great. 
But in order to do this, I'm going to need to solve this problem right now. And this is a major, major problem because I need to drill this, countersink that, and find the right screws that will hold it and all the pressure. And after I will move the center of the hole over here, the center here, I will move this hole sideways. This hole over here will not fit anymore and most likely it will touch. So there is two ways to do that. To make a plate that will fit this to that or to change this. So right now I have in my head of making a metal plate that will work with this to another plate that will go to that. And I think that this is what I'm going to end up doing because this has such a long shaft and it might work. At the same time, all this sound like, oh, reasonable, this is going to work. If I do that, what will happen? My motor will shift backward. If the motor shifts backward, will I have the space that I need? Because this is pretty tight fit. So if I do that, I might not have enough space. So I have to find the right spacer that I could, could put between the two in order to make it work. This is while we're talking about the motor. Now, let's go back to a previous problem. Move the car away to get in the right spool. So this is the right spool to work with the gears. It's actually, it's a pinion gear, it's not a spool. It's fit here, pretty perfect. Then I thought, okay, if I cannot get those, I can get something else. And then I said, okay, it's the same gears. And Arma making spool gears. This is a spool, this is not a pinion gear. But why can't this work for that? Should work, this is bigger, I have more tooths, it's much cheaper and it's valuable. The only thing that different here is that the spools come with the rods that go on one side to another. And I will show it right now. Please pay attention. Even if you think that you are a genius, this might help you. What I'm doing right now. So, open it up, and it's a very nice gear over here, okay? This is a spool. This is a pinion. The difference is that the way that they set up the back of it, it's more area for the motor mount to hold, you know, like to hold your motor shaft. Here there is a little bit less, but then when you look at it, this is actually much thicker than that. It just going through the entire thing, and the hole over here is a little bit thinner this is a five millimeter and this is a four millimeter they already given you inside the safety screw and then giving you another screw that is a little bit longer that's supposedly to go from one side to another so this one actually have two screws that this might work a little bit better so then what you need to do is make sure that this will fit here and it's a very tight fit but it will work so when you put it in it's a little bit tight you see like if I take this it will just slide right away this one is a little bit tight of a fit but it's not a big deal because all I need to do is take my Dremel tool and just send it down a little bit I don't even need to send it down I need to polish it and it will fit but if I even if I just push it by force it will just go over there and stay and it will be perfectly straight you can take those and run it on your car. Again, it's easier to get. Uh, probably when you break the tooth on it, it will be cheaper to replace. So just for you guys to know, it's eight millimeter. It's exactly the same thing. I just saved you $35 buying this. Going to the next thing. So I try to solve other problem and I say, okay, let's get a motor mount that someone already made. So there is this motor mount and this motor mount is pretty cool because you just change it and you're going to put it on your car and you're going to set it up and you have the screws over here and the nuts and then it's set up and it's ready to go it's perfect then you can adjust it up and down but you have another problem when you do this when you do this thing let's move all the small things so i'm not going to lose it real quick because small screws, it's something that disappear magically. Let's put everything away. 
because we're going to a different problem right now. So, we have the motor mount. Now, this motor mount will fit right here, no problem at all. This is what it's designed for. It should go right there. This go right there. And then you have a bigger motor mount, you have bigger sliding, no problem at all. The problem that you're running into when you do that is that Arma made this part here on the top with a piece of plastic that's going from the top and pushing on top of the bearing. While you're doing this, the bearing will get pushed down for your spool and hold it in place. This piece already have just put the bearing in and you're done. And then you say, okay, this is another problem. Why there is so many problems on something so simple? So then you need to change the bearing that go here. You have to change the spool with a spacer that go there. And then you say, okay, this is start getting expensive just putting a motor in. Um, this part, you need a top parts for it. You need to change the bearing. You have to change your entire spool. And then you get to a point that you're spending $200 only on a motor mount because you're gonna need this and after you, you need this you're gonna need that this is gonna be the top plate and after you need a top plate you know you're gonna need a couple different things so this is gonna be a problem so it's one thing after another to get it or you can just get a regular motor that will fit here and will work and no science behind it no nothing you just put your own motor and you're done so this is the easy way I don't do stuff that way. I'm doing stuff the hard way, always the hard way. Hard way bring result. A hard way it's what get us to speed because we do stuff that nobody else have. So I can run almost one to one. Actually, it's not one to one. If I'm gonna run the spool that I just find, I will have actually have four tooths bigger than my spool on the car. So that my car should run even faster. But we don't know if it runs faster because it's maybe going to overheat. And we'll see what ESC we're gonna use. So this is part one of me explaining on this. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start doing the building of that. I'm gonna start putting the servo, you know, the steering servo, and then I'm gonna go and drill and try to adjust the motor mount and see from there where we're going. Like, subscribe, and share. Please follow me on this one because I'm gonna share so much knowledge that you cannot buy, you cannot see anywhere else. Okay, and we're going to go and test it and we're going to do the science behind it and you will learn before you're doing yours so you'll save all the money. I do the work, I'm going to learn the hard way and you will save the money when you do yours. See you on my next video. This is Eric at RC Monster Garage. This is our Limitless project and it's sponsored by us, Motor Style Hobby Shop. we buying all the parts. We're probably going to end up putting a couple thousand dollars into this car in and out because we're going to change the motor we're going to change everything in order to prove what work and then i have a surprise for you what we're going to put here on the front stay tuned